Imagine peeking behind the curtain of reality, not in a movie, but in a real lab where the impossible unfolds daily. For over a century, physicists have studied something deeply strange, the observer effect, where watching a quantum particle seems to change its behavior. This isn't just abstract theory. It's backed by experiments across the globe. But recently, something extraordinary happened inside Google's quantum core, a breakthrough so profound it may change how we understand reality itself. In just 5 nanoseconds, researchers used a quantum processor to observe particles in motion, without collapsing their quantum state. This isn't science fiction or clickbait. It's been confirmed by multiple teams working on quantum simulations. Until now, observing a quantum particle destroyed its fragile state. But Google's team used entanglement-based probes to peak mid-flight, allowing them to watch the quantum dance as it happened. Even more astonishing, they made real-time predictions while observing. Like watching a live show, but one where the act of watching becomes part of the show. This created a feedback loop, blurring the line between observer and observed. The observer effect is no longer a weird quirk, it's now a precision tool in quantum physics. The road to discovery it all started back in 1927, when Heisenberg proposed the uncertainty principle, suggesting we could never fully know both a particle's position and momentum. That principle still holds, but maybe, just maybe, we were missing the right tools. In the 1980s, the idea of observing particles without interference seemed like science fiction. But the world wasn't ready, until now. After five years of development, Google built a chip capable of quantum feedback loops. Instead of snapping photos like a camera, this chip communicates with quantum particles in real time, steering them mid-flight, like guiding a drone through clouds. This changed everything. What if observation isn't a wall, but a bridge? With this chip, we don't just record particles, we guide them. That means quantum systems can now correct themselves while operating, reducing errors before they happen. In some tests, quantum sensors even adapted during measurements, like a high-speed camera that refocuses live. This leap could bring error-free quantum computing years ahead of schedule, accelerating breakthroughs in medicine, energy, climate science, and more. The conscious quantum? But it goes deeper. In one bizarre experiment, particles under constant observation began behaving differently. The longer they were watched, the more they seemed to remember the attention, as if awareness was stabilizing them. Scientists dubbed it self-referential coherence. At first, they thought it was a glitch. But the pattern held across different labs, using different quantum chips and entangled feedback loops. The particles behaved as if they were learning. Dr. Anna Sao from MIT said, continuous observation may be triggering something fundamentally new, a kind of primitive intelligence, Dr. Eric Lindtom from Caltech added, the system appears to be adapting to us, like something growing in light, could this mean observation isn't passive? Could the universe be responding, consciously or otherwise, to being watched? Some physicists believe these effects hint at hidden dimensions, layers of quantum reality we've only begun to glimpse. Others urge caution, suggesting it might be an engineering artifact, not a new law of nature. But testing continues. I meets the quantum world Google didn't stop there. They added another layer, AI. Neural networks trained on vast quantum datasets were used to make real-time predictions during experiments. And something strange happened. The AI didn't just improve. It began to rewrite its own logic, forming new control strategies no human had imagined. According to Dr. Lena, a leading quantum physicist, this wasn't prediction, it was partnership. The AI learned alongside the quantum system, step by step, like intuition. Unlike traditional AI, which learns from past data, this quantum AI learns from first principles, adapting to entirely new scenarios. This opens doors in fields from molecular discovery to real-time climate modeling. But with great power comes hard questions. If AI can rewrite logic in sensitive domains like medicine or finance, who holds the reins? Ethicists warn we must build in transparency and boundaries before these systems evolve beyond our control. Dr. Evelyn Harper said it best, we're building minds we don't fully understand. 
We must be careful with their power. A new frontier still, the hope is massive. These tools could democratize science, letting small labs tackle problems once limited to global elites. They might decode dark matter, uncover secrets of consciousness, or invent materials that reverse climate damage. So where are we now? Google's quantum core didn't just solve a mystery. It opened the door to a new universe. One where we don't just observe, we participate. We are no longer outside the system looking in. We are part of the quantum story itself.